think it's safe to say that basically everyone has had a drink to unwind or relax. But did you know that alcohol actually increases our anxiety because of the way that it changes our brain? Hey, I'm Jill from Silver Powered, the podcast, and now the YouTube channel. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you can see all of my videos. And don't forget to check out the podcast. It's completely different content. I'm fortunate enough to not struggle with anxiety, but in the last year or so of my drinking, I developed anxiety that would keep me up for about half the night, several nights per week. And I couldn't understand why, because I had never had anxiety before. And what I found out after quitting drinking was that my anxiety disappeared. And when I researched it, I learned that there's something called alcohol-induced anxiety. Same with alcohol-induced depression or alcohol-induced psychosis. And these conditions occur in drinkers, and the only way to stop it is by not drinking. It's not an actual like existing mental health condition for the person. It's all alcohol. So while this is less common, what happens more often is someone with anxiety will drink to help their anxiety, and then they will feel even more anxious, needing to drink again and drink more than last time. So in this episode, I'm going to explain why alcohol, it does technically help your anxiety, but why it also makes your anxiety worse, making you need even more alcohol. There are two neurotransmitters that are always in balance. It's called homeostasis. So they're trying to keep each other balanced to keep brain activity at a safe level. So one is called GABA, and this slows down brain activity. So if you have too much GABA, you would go into a coma. And the other neurotransmitter is called glutamate, and this speeds up brain activity. And too much glutamate would cause something like a seizure. So when we drink, alcohol slows down brain activity because it's a central nervous system depressant. So it actually does calm you down and relax you because it's slowing down your brain. So it slows down or stops messages that are being sent around your brain. So you can't be like overly excited about whatever you're stressed out about. It's slowing that down or stopping it. But the problem is the brain wants to maintain homeostasis. It wants to stay in balance. The brain is going to stop calming itself down because it knows that alcohol is doing that for it. And what it will also do is increase the amount of glutamate that it's releasing to speed up brain activity. So the brain is going to compensate for all the alcohol that you're drinking by speeding up your brain to bring you back to normal. And this is why if one glass of wine relaxed you after work, now it doesn't. Now you need two. And then eventually you need three, and then eventually you're drinking the entire bottle. And this is because your brain is compensating for alcohol slowing it down. So it's speeding itself up more than it normally would to counteract the alcohol. So as it does that, you build tolerance and you need more and more alcohol to get the same effect. So if you've struggled with anxiety from drinking or if you didn't know it was from drinking, if you struggled with anxiety and you drink, you may wake up and have that 3 a.m. jolt and then you have a ton of anxiety, or you may wake up the next morning with a ton of anxiety. And that is because as the alcohol wears off, your brain is going back up to normal. It's not being slowed down by alcohol anymore. But remember, the brain dumped in a bunch of extra glutamate, which speeds up brain activity. So now, where you were balanced and alcohol slowed you down, but then the brain release extra glutamate, now the alcohol wears off, so you're just overexcited. And that's what anxiety feels like. The brain is, is hyperactive and freaking out. So I used to experience the 3 a.m. middle of the night anxiety um, like almost every day. The problem occurs when someone tries to stop drinking, especially someone who has anxiety. So for me, I had alcohol-induced anxiety, so when I stopped drinking, the anxiety went away. 
But when someone has anxiety and they try to stop drinking, in the early withdrawal phase, their brain is overexcited and they have even more anxiety. And they've taught themselves that alcohol helps with anxiety. Alcohol relaxes me. I drink to manage my anxiety. And because of all of these alcohol-induced changes to the brain, the brain stops calming itself down because it expects that alcohol is going to be there to slow down brain activity. So the brain stops doing it naturally or does it naturally way less than normal. So when you stop drinking, all you're left with is massive anxiety and your brain doesn't remember that it's supposed to do something about it. And this is what makes people go back to drinking. But just like the brain adapted to alcohol, it can learn that alcohol is not going to be hanging around here anymore and it can regulate itself back to how it was before you started abusing alcohol. So the brain can adapt back. So this whole concept of neuroplasticity that we talk about or the brain's ability to adapt and change its connections and the way it communicates with itself, just like it adapted to alcohol, it can adapt back to no alcohol. So if you are someone that struggles with anxiety, especially in early withdrawal, I want you to understand that it's actually the alcohol that's making you anxious. And if you just get through early withdrawal, your anxiety will start to reduce as your brain remembers how to balance itself out. And if you also remind yourself, if you do three days and then you're so anxious you can't take it and you drink, now you've reset yourself. And if you continue to drink for months or years, that adaptation is getting even worse. So your tolerance is always increasing and you need more alcohol to relax you than you did a year ago. So when you try to quit drinking the next time, it's even harder. So if that is you and you're drinking to cope with anxiety and you want to stop drinking, I encourage you to do a couple things. You should talk to your doctor about your anxiety because they can prescribe you something to help with the anxiety, especially in early withdrawal. You should talk to a therapist about managing your anxiety in a healthy way and about the reasons that you are drinking to cope in the first place and try to understand that alcohol makes anxiety worse. I mean, look at me, I didn't have anxiety at all, and my alcohol abuse caused really bad anxiety. And then I stopped drinking, and I have been consistently anxiety-free ever since. So it's really amazing how alcohol can affect the brain and how it can cause so many changes in a bad way. So just like in my last video where we were talking about moderation and we discussed neuroplasticity and how as you drink, you carve out pathways in the brain that are very strong. That is the same thing with anxiety. You drink to cope with your anxiety and you learn alcohol helps my anxiety. Alcohol makes me feel better and you believe it. And it is true. I want you to understand that it is technically true that alcohol helps your anxiety. It reduces it because it slows down your brain. It doesn't actually help with the problem. It just temporarily relieves it, but then it makes it worse. So you've taught yourself alcohol fixes anxiety and you've reinforced that belief over and over and over and over. So when you try to stop drinking and you experience anxiety or you experience stress, your brain is going to say, we need to drink. That is, that's what's going to fix this, we need to drink. And because your brain is so overactive and it doesn't remember how to calm itself down because it was relying on alcohol to do that, you might experience cravings too, where your brain is saying, I need alcohol so that I can get back into balance, get back to homeostasis. But eventually, your brain will learn to regulate itself and not rely on alcohol to do that. And similarly, just like you taught yourself that alcohol helps with your anxiety, you can unlearn that and you can learn things that actually help with your anxiety, like therapy, medication if that's something that you need, 
exercise. There are all sorts of healthy habits that you could introduce. And slowly over time, you break down this belief that you need alcohol to manage anxiety. And that will reduce the amount of cravings that you have and the amount of triggers because you believe in yourself and your ability to manage your anxiety. So let me know in the comments, did alcohol have any effect on your anxiety? Did it make it worse or were you like me? Did it cause anxiety? And remember, the beginning is going to suck. You're probably going to feel more anxious and your brain is going to say, give me alcohol, I need to get back to normal. But you can teach it that that's not normal. So I have a couple of podcast episodes that I want to direct you to as well. I have one about anxiety specifically and I have another about drinking to cope. So I will link those in the video description. And make sure that you check out my video on moderation if you haven't. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you next time.